so this will be the first video of like our house videos this will be a house tour so you can have a look at like what we've done with the space what um like the layout is and everything like that as like a lot of people have asked <laughs> to me to take a video of like the house and like, like show so then they can see so this will just be one so everyone can see that but um also it will show what we've done like styling wise and everything like that but just keep in mind that at the moment because we've moved in four weeks ago but two weeks into living here we went on a, another lockdown so we're actually not allowed to go out for like any reasons but essential so right now there's not a lot of furniture slash like decorative stuff so we haven't been able to go out and buy like books and like plants and things like that so yeah the house is very minimal at the moment we will obviously warm it up with all the decorative stuff when we can go out and when it's safe to and everything like that but for now this is just really basic and yeah we're first moving in first home it's what is bound to happen but um i hope you enjoy it and let me know if you have any questions as well about the house because i'm always happy to answer them all right let's jump in all right, so I'm going to take you through the house now. So this is just the front entryway. This is main door and then coming off the door is our master bedroom, which I'll take you through now. So in here we have bed, obviously. Um, if you have noticed, if you followed me on my Instagram, I bought a new bed head and it was like a wooden, um, I don't know, just a wooden one. But... It's actually really annoying to sleep with. Like this one's really comfy and squishy behind us. Whereas if we have the other one, it's really hard and it's like uncomfortable. So we actually weren't fond of it. So right now it's in one of the spare rooms and we're not hundred percent sure what we're going to do, but we know that probably won't stay. We do want new like bedroom furniture. So we'll probably end up changing it all anyway. But yeah, just FYI, if you're wondering where that other bed head is. And then we have the pendants either side and just our old um, bedside tables either side. And then behind here in the corner is our TV on two um, empty boxes at the minute because we haven't mounted it. But then for our window furnishing as well, we are currently using Spotlight um, Tension Rod with Spotlight $20 curtains because we were doing the curtains ourselves afterwards but we're so conflicted about what we want to do we're not sure whether we're going to put like a blind in and have shears running all the way along the wall or if we want shutters so when we decide that one we'll update but for now it's currently a 20 dollars spotlight candle i mean candle curtain over here as well is just like an empty area next to the bed we're unsure what we're going to put here because in the original design that was actually the wardrobe but um, we changed it all, so now it's just an empty space. So we're not sure if we're gonna put like a sitting chair or something like that, or if we're gonna deck it out and do like, I don't know, like I can do my makeup there or something like that. Not 100% sure yet. We'll see what happens with that one. But then coming off the bedroom is our bathroom in here. So then in here we have towel rail, which isn't actually a proper towel rail. It's one of those decorative ones from Provincial, but we liked it in here better to bring a bit of white and like a bit of decorative stuff in here. So yeah. And then shower, toilet and double basin. All right. So coming off the bathroom into the walk-in robe, we had this all redesigned so we could have a bigger walk-in robe and have a nice master and everything like that. Brad's dad actually redesigned it all for us and drew it all up, which helped a lot because he's really handy like that. So yeah, this is what this actually turned out to be. This isn't on any of the plans, but if you want a uh, full layout, then if you're gonna build with Porter Davis or anything, you want the full layout, just message me and I'll be sure to send that through. But um, yeah, so here's all our a million and one drawers that everyone said we wouldn't be able to fill, but we filled them. It was fine, easy done. But um, yeah, we still have all the hanging, double hanging, more hanging, like empty spots for bags and things or something like that and then all our shoe spots which we still have plenty of room to fill up for some more which is always good all right so coming into the hallway now we um have the linen cupboards on the side here they're not currently decked out with anything they're empty at the moment just with like well they've got like our random storage stuff in them but eventually we will have shelves built through here so we can pop all our linen and our like I don't know, like Christmas decorations and like just storage things in there. But yeah, currently they are empty. And then on the opposite side, we have our garage in there. It's really messy. It doesn't look nice in there. So I'm just going to leave that one. Then 
Coming to this side is our <laughs> eventually study. Right now it's just got all um, storage stuff in it, but we will be putting like a desk. Well, we're not 100% sure yet, but we will be probably putting in a floating desk, computer, everything like that in here, but that will be way down the track probably because we're not too phased on that yet. Laundry in here. We, um, it's all nice and bright and white, of course. And we changed the door ourselves actually after handover because the door we had beforehand just had a little window and it wasn't letting in enough light and it was so dark in here. And I was like, I don't want to be spending my time in here in the dark. So changed it over and now we, look how much more light it lets in. It's so nice. But um, yeah, in here is our washing machine, dryer, and then we have our little like pot things. There's our washing powder, bicarb soda and vinegar. And it's all from Little Storage Co for memory. Yeah, but um, love that. And then just storage all up here. We went with the um, decorative tiles here just to change it up a little bit. And then our amazing linen cupboard that's actually our like temporary linen cupboard till that one's done because this is actually meant to have no shelves in it but Porter Davis stuffed up and put shelves in so now I'm just gonna use it as like we can but um have all our little baskets they're all from Kmart but um with our towels and everything once that linen cupboard's done across the hole though we'll actually rip all these out well not all maybe two of them so then because it's got a powerpoint in here so we'll keep our like vacuum in here our mop like broom and things like that in there so in the kitchen we decided to put a big window in instead of having like overheads and everything like that just because we wanted to change it and make it like a little bit our own but also just a bit different to everything and i'm so glad we did that because it lets in so much light so bright and it's so nice to be in the kitchen like it's so warm and everything and i'm like always a cold body so it's really nice it's just a pain to keep clean which <laughs> i have figured out but yeah we're getting there learning new things about how to keep windows clean off the main um kitchen area is our butlers so in here we haven't done anything yet just because we haven't been able to go out or anything but um we will eventually like decorate put like a little plant up there with like greenery and then deck it out somehow but for now we just have like our knife block there's another sink in here so that's good and then um coffee machine bread bin and everything like that then off the butlers is our pantry so it has all our stuff it's all neatly organized and everything always has a place which is so nice it actually helps out so much um keeps everything nice and tidy but like then you can always tell as well when like you're out of stuff and what you need to fill up and everything. So love it. So moving on to dining area. We are currently waiting on all our dining chairs. We have two because they had none in stock, but we just took two off the floor because we needed at least two to sit on. So um, we will be getting them, I think mid August, we're getting them. But then our kitchen table and yeah, that's about all there. Alright, so coming over to like the couch area. Best couches ever, by the way. They're so squishy and so comfortable. They're from Harvey Norman. Yeah, everything's very white at the minute, but we will eventually warm everything up with decorative things like um, little coffee table knickknacks and all that. But for now, we can't do that. So it just looks like a white area. <laughs> Alright, so moving on from the main area. This is like a little hallway off um, where the couches were. This is where the three bedrooms are and the bathroom and the on, um, not on suite, and the powder room and everything like that are. So in this room here is the main bathroom with shower, bath, um, vanity and everything like that. Full size mirror, which love is perfect. Um, but yeah, we don't really use this because obviously we don't need it with us too. We have our own. But then off this one is the little powder room, which has the toilet and everything in it. So it's good that they're separate because then like you can still go to the toilet while someone's in the shower or something like that. It works out well. Then we've got the three bedrooms in just off here. See, there's the other bed head I was talking about. I don't like it's so nice, but it's just uncomfortable. <laughs> but um, yeah, so in here is just bedroom which we will eventually put a bed in have a spare bed for someone to stay over when people can actually come round and then another bedroom 
and then third and final bedroom is in here obviously nothing's been done in any of these rooms because we don't need them yet but yeah they're just three empty rooms and then actually at the back of the house we have a rumpus like tv playstation room that we've created everything in here furniture wise is that apart from the tv is actually um family members that we've just borrowed or like taken on from like their old stuff so this isn't how the room will stay but it is for probably a while because it does help us out so um but yeah so we've got tv like um little tv unit and then couch along there and then it leads out to like that's a window to our backyard and then it leads out to our patio as well on this side our backyard which we've still got to do there's nothing really exciting happening with that at the minute it's just all dirt so eventually we are gonna like build it up and everything like that and put like a little fire pit and stuff in but for now it's just gonna be grass and dead weeds like as you can tell it's just like nothing <laughs> like not that nice but we'll get there eventually all right so that's going to conclude the little house tour i hope you enjoyed it and um if you have any questions let me know because i'm more than happy to help out with like any questions about like porter davis or building or like buying land and stuff like that because obviously we bought this land so if you have any questions let me know but i hope you enjoyed it and yeah i will see you in the next video